Okay, so it's afternoon now, and I have had enough coffee at this point in time, so I'm good. I was looking at my nail that I did yesterday with the foil, and I'm really liking the vibe. And it, it's just soft, it's subtle, it's pretty, it, it's quite iridescent, uh, pearlescent, and just got such a pretty shimmer. So I'm going to do a few more nails. I don't know exactly which ones I'm going to do, but you guys can work through this with me. And we're just going to do a little bit more of our foiling with our Foil X. And then we'll take just a few final pictures of the final look, natural look nails with a little bit of subtle foiling over the top. So, okay, let's get set up. So I'm just about ready to go. I do have, as you can see, um, this is my gel bottle lamp, my curing light. And then I also have this, this is a 22 inch moonlight on my desk, just to give me some, a um, little bit more light. And then here we have my setup with what I'm gonna be using, my Foil X, my Foil X gel. Uh, this is that rubber top coat we used yesterday. And then just my tweezers again and some little scissors. And oh, I brought this guy back. I brought him back because I thought maybe, oh, you can see that. Oh yeah, that's pretty apparent on there, right? So I'm gonna do a little bit more of this, it's on here. But then I thought maybe, you know, just uh, one or two of these. It's cute. I mean, it wasn't, doesn't stand out as much as I would like just on my kind of natural background. However, let's give it a whirl. Okay, let's get started. Now, before I start pulling the foil out that I'm gonna be using here, I wanna show you guys this because this is one of the ones that I had an awful lot of fun with, if I can open it. Um, and this is the Torty design. And it is amazing. It is a really easy way to create your Torty. And then whatever color you wanna put underneath, I mean, if you wanna go darker. Now, I wouldn't really recommend black because then some of your pattern is going to get lost in that but um, maybe like a yellowy brown or something along those lines but look at how pretty that is and wow how easy is that going to be for tourney nails okay so this is one from my personal collection because i love it and i have used it before so you need to have one of these you need the torty from the gel bottle. It's really cool, really beautiful. I had tons of compliments on that when I was wearing it. Okay, so for today, let's let's have a look what's in my box here. So we talked about we might do that again. This is the one that I had done. So this guy here. Okay. And I quite like the way that turned out. There's another one that's kind of similar, and it's this one. So I think I'm gonna try this one. So like we did yesterday, I'm gonna just cut a little piece off of here so I don't have such a huge. Now, if you were doing all 10 nails in the same, you might wanna have a little bit of a bigger piece than that. But now this is where it gets a bit tricky. Remember how I mentioned to you, it's hard to tell the inside and the outside sometimes, or the back and the front and it only transfers one way. So if you do it wrong on the wrong side, you're going to get no result at all. So that's always fun. All right, so I'm gonna try this one. This one. <laughs> nope, maybe I'll do it on my pinky. All right, I'm gonna do it on my pinky. Let's try that. Now, did I get this mixed up? Oh, I probably did. I think this is the top and I think this is the back. So let's leave that there. If it doesn't work, you guys are gonna see me do this. All right, here we go. Okay, so just on my pinky, and then we're gonna cure. So foil X from the gel bottle. And I'm gonna kind of do this on most of the nail. Okay, there we go. And then in we go and let's cure. And we're gonna do a full cure. I'll be right Cured, back. and I'm gonna hope that this is the right way. Oh, these things are staticky. Let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. 
down, down, down. I'm going to know when I pull this off, because if it's not the right way, we're going to get a nothingness. Oh, no, we got something. Okay, good. Well, uh, well, that's good. All right, I didn't do it the wrong way after all. Okay. Can you see it? Can you see it? I mean, it is subtle, but it's fun and it's pretty and understated because that's the look I'm going for. Okay, so understated nails. Understated with a little bit of bling. Next, we are going to, we're going to do this one. And this is our Rubber Top 2.0. So you have to have this if you're going to be doing any design work or anything that's maybe not super flat on the nail. Now, these are very, the foils are very flat on the nail. However, it is art and obviously it's a design. And um, I just like the way that these actually, I like the way that it feels. I like the way that it looks. So let's use it. Okay, there we go. Let's cure 60 seconds and we'll be back. Can you see the iridescence in these guys? I just got a good shot in the light. If you guys can see that. 60 seconds and done. Voila. Voila, voila. There we go. You guys think. Let's turn this on. Okay. All right. Now, I know, I know somebody is going to tell me that they really want to see this one. They want to. I know. I know you guys want to see this one. So, let us. Get this out. Okay. Who wants to see it? Who wants to see it on the nail? How much of the nail should I do? Should we just kind of do across the nail maybe? Should we just do a bit on the end maybe? Should we do the whole nail maybe? What do you guys think? What should I do? Okay, I'm gonna leave that because I want you guys to let me know how much of the nail am I gonna do in this one, which is our holographic cheetah. So I'm gonna keep my station set up I'd like to hear back from you guys within 24 hours. Just give me your comments. Let me know what I should do with this. I'm thinking maybe full nail. That's what I'm thinking. But anyways, I'm going to wait. You guys let me know and we'll chat soon.